Can I remind you of the Cylons from BSG? I should have made it go back and forth. Giving it kind of a red glow. Okay, now we're at the setup screen. To choose a username and picture, I'll put in my username C Germany for Charles Germany and my password. And I'll choose a cute little kitten here for my icon. I'm gonna click on next. The PC host name, let's configure it to be call this virtual vista and I like the default vista background and click on next um, to protect windows um, as far as updates yeah let's just log in and begin our post installation task so we won't configure that as of yet we'll set the time zone in this case I live in Daytona Beach Florida so I'm gonna go with Eastern time and Vista tells me thank you. It's kind of a neat background. I just feel like you're floating there. Now Windows will attempt to check my PC's performance. Um, it's going to try to configure a default set of, of settings. Um, so if I don't have a lot of, you know, spare CPU cycles or RAM, um, it may turn off the desktop gadget toolbar or it may, you know, deactivate certain things. If, if I have a really, you know, nice system, it's very modern, I have cutting edge hardware, then Vista may decide to turn on all of its really fancy, beautiful features and bells and whistles. And if you still try to, you know, present you with some of the new, new and improved items that have been added to to Vista. there and there we go okay and we should have heard the vista be a little in introduction sound there Vista login sound but in this case we've got to configure our sound card driver so there's my cute little kitten there's my login ID type in my password and we'll go ahead and log in V 
Lisa is now preparing my desktop. So my my documents folders and my personal settings and preferences. Um, in this case, it'll go with the default configuration, the arrow shell, desktop gadgets. Um, now, my sound card wasn't on the HCL, the hardware compatibility list. And I can tell that by looking down here, there's a little X over my the speaker icon here. Um, I'm going to close this for now. This is a good time to pick out one of Vista's more convenient features. So I'm going to right click on my computer, go to properties, and I'm going to go to device manager. And you can update drivers manually if you have a disk or across the network. 